Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to go on a little adventure, so I'll see you when we get there. Hey guys, so we are at the Shadow Figure location. Please ignore all the traffic that's going by on the main highway. There shouldn't be much traffic come on this road. But I just wanted to take you guys and kind of show you where everything happened because I've had so many stories I've shared here and there's so many more to come. So you guys will kind of have a feel for the area and let's go. There's a house behind these trees to the left, which is where the little lady lives that has a story of her own. She won't be able to tell it in person, but I'll be telling her story to you guys a little later on. I know you can't really see her house. But as we get over here, if you can see this road that's starting to branch off to the right, that is actually where the car came from. We were kind of parked right here where the, um, the intersection is to go to this road here to the right. So the car was right here where the camera's pointed and that's where we were parked. That was our vehicle. And this is the road that the car came out of, but you're not going to be able to see from the vicinity it goes way back in there and the gates way back but the reason we could see it coming from so far away was because of the headlights because it was dark obviously but that's the little section of road where the car came out and chased us this all to the side is kudzu and it's kind of taken over way worse than it was previously i guess they quit trying to kill it out but just for any of you that don't know this is what kudzu is like and i hope the sun's not killing these shots this little logging type road to the left, which you can't really see much because of the kudzu, that is where a lot of my stories take place that I haven't told you guys about, but we're actually going to save that for another adventure. We will venture into that area and stop at the house formation so I can tell you all those stories one day, but yeah, that's where a lot of things have happened here as well. Most people when we're here, when we're investigating or people just visiting the area, they report having a very bad feeling when they get to this curve, so... I don't know if that's where it all starts, but here to our left again, that's the creepy tree. I hate that the kudzu is taking over so much, but that's where I saw the baby head for any of those that watched that video. As we round this curve, we're going to get to the straightaway where I actually saw the shadow figure and was chased by it. Here is the straightaway, so we're going to keep going and I'll show you the other significance of this little area. I can't believe how many stories I still have to tell you guys about down here. I kind of lose my breath in this area. I don't know why. It's like something takes my breath every time, but I don't know. It's just got such a heaviness to it. I just wanted to show you guys in the daylight so you'd be able to see everything and kind of understand where everything was and where it happened. The barn that I've talked about in my videos is over here behind all the kudzu, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but... Yeah, that's the barn. Right in here, I was standing right in here. This is all way more grown up than it was when I originally came here back in 2009 when it all first started. And I've been back so many hundreds of times. But right up there is where the shadow figure stood. And it was in the middle. You used to be able to see the yellow ones in the middle of the robe. They're kind of faded now. But it just stood in the yellow lines, it proceeded to walk to its right, our left, because we were facing it, and stood on the side of the road down there by what is the location of these mailboxes here that you cannot see, but it was just right in this area. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and kind of got an idea of where I was at, where everything took place, but that's the road and I just wanted to share that with you guys in the daylight so you could kind of see everything and where everything took place. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video where we kind of explore the haunted areas in the daylight before we do any investigations or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and we can do many more. I know the Witch's Rock video will be the next one I do in this form, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. I post a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.